Well, I mean, just think about it. Um, if you're only attacking one way, that's only one set of force fields he has to use. If you're doing multi-prong attack, that's double, you know? And if he doesn't use the right amount or he fucks up in one area, then one of his armies is going to get screwed over. And, you know, he might fend off the other one better. But, I mean, he's still going to lose the top half and maybe take some extra damage somewhere else as well. So, multi-prong is really the way to go. Okay. Fair enough. It's like drops from a Terran. Gotcha. Oh, yeah. Definitely. That's why a lot of Terran complain about Zerg, because they don't do multi-pronged drops. <laughs> they do single drops, and they're like, Oh, I don't know why it doesn't work. I don't know how to beat Zerg. <laughs> I gotcha. Hey, Hello. Ryan. Thoughts on that last game, man? I thought I actually played good that game. Uh, other games, I felt like I played really bad, so that's... Um, but yeah, he, he tried to went for some pressure, didn't really did too much. He did kill the Overlord because I was bad positioning, but um, I was already building a lot of Overlords at that moment anyways, because I knew I might have had to sacrifice one later on anyways. And then I was already starting my uh, unit production, which requires a lot of uh, Overlords, especially Roaches, since the Roaches are so supply heavy that uh, you're going to need a lot of overlords. So that didn't really hinder me all too much. And then he tried to do a lot of pressure, which I stopped a lot of full position microwing and uh, mineral patch uh, walking, uh, which definitely helped a lot and prevented a lot of damage because my roaches and zerglings were kind of out of position when that happened. But then uh, I uh, negated it long enough for my um, army can um, stop the units from doing uh, damage. Fair enough, man. So after that, he tried to expand, and um, I, I attacked in two different paths, and I uh, eventually just got him out of position and snipe off uh, uh, important uh, structures like the um, cannons and stuff, and also I sniped off important units like immortals, and uh, I got the sentries out of position, and they couldn't really force field properly like they want to, like on a ramp or something, where they can like uh, stop the roaches from getting in too close. Or they uh, can kill those sentries. Okay. Or getting good surface area on a immortal, because that's always most important also. Alright. Um, now, how important do you think it was when you were splitting your army there? Um, we were talking about multi-pronged attacks earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's very important, because it's very hard to attack a Protoss head-on with the force field mechanic in StarCraft 2. So you always want to try attack from different avenues if you can. Or get like a, or you know, just try to create a good surround or get good surface area with the, on the Protoss army. Uh, are there any so, tricks to doing that that our viewers could use? Uh, in not really. Um, you just want to uh, attack a. Uh, you have to just expose them and try to find like a weak point because a lot of times they have to split their army uh, really uh, perfectly in order to stop the aggression. So you have to just wait until you find a mistake uh, when you keep on attacking from. Um, from the multi pong aggression, because uh, I saw I was attacking from like one side, and then when I saw the army wasn't there, uh, and then I was like, okay, I shouldn't attack the other side. I know his army is there, but I'll attack from the other side and type of thing. And if I felt he's at a feeble position or he's out of position in general, then I you know I can just attack with that unit and try to snipe something off, and then just back out if I see his army coming back because I know I still can't go head on, but I know I can snipe snipe stuff off because my force is better. If he doesn't force seal properly, or his army's out of position, so I just try to get, get him out of position and expose the weaknesses if he is out of position. Fair enough, man. Fair enough. I'm getting a message on my phone. What the hell? Ah. All right. So Rhino, are you ready? Yeah. Alrighty. And we're off. This is awesome, guys. So, Antigua Shipyard, we're on this map again. I don't think there's anything else to add to it, so let's go ahead and drop you from the call, Ryan. I'll All see right. you on the other side. Big ass map. I really don't like it. It's so hard to hold a fourth against any other race. Um, the crappy part about this map is the latter edition, especially where let's say 
Rhino spawns where he is, and the a Terran spawns right to the bottom right side because the uh, the Terran can actually just siege the left uh, the the Zerg's third from his main. <laughs> it's pretty silly. Alright, so we're going to see a Forge expand or Nexus first. Yes, sir. Now, on the bottom left-hand side of the map, we have our purple Zerg player, Rhinomeister. And on the top right-hand side, we've got our blue Protoss. His name is Seduce from Team HTPK. What's it stand for? I'm not sure. Gotcha. I'm gonna ask actually. There's no shame in asking. A lot of things. Okay. Be more specific. Hot pockets. Hot pockets. <laughs> Okay, I think I'm being, uh, being trolled here. <laughs> yeah, I'm a Rasta. I eat mostly salads. That shit's got way too much grease. <laughs> you know how much pork uh, they put in this? <laughs> you really don't like pork? No. So. Uh, uh, our probe almost died. Yeah. Uh, oh, there's, there's a gold base on this version. <laughs> this wow. is going to upset <laughs> a seduce rhino going for that as his natural. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. He's going for that second pylon again. That's... My question here mm. is how vulnerable is this? Like, it seems like he could get a cannon rush off uh, on this high ground really easily behind the minerals. Uh, I mean, yeah, of course he could, but I mean... He doesn't know about it. Uh, yeah, you have to know about it. <laughs> uh, map control was just eliminated and put the death of that probe, so... Yeah, yeah that, that kind of hurts a little bit. Still, so when the timing point. attacks do come... This it may be a liability. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's kind of hard to cannon on this map too. So I mean, there's just so many different expansions that really aren't that far away. Mm -hmm. And also, if he did cannon on that gold base, these zerglings could just run into his main. So hmm. there's no way he could wall this off in time. Zerglings aren't the best for defending, but if you're getting attacked, just attack with them. Oh well, yeah. <laughs> Four drones on the rich mineral field. Probably gonna start saturating that up a little bit. The best part about a rich mineral field is it takes less supply to get the same amount of income. Because one drone, uh, when they're undersaturated, you know, it mines more. But you mine exactly the same amount of income as a regular base when they're both fully saturated. Gold bases make drones feel like mules. Hmm. They make mules feel like... Make mules mine. feel like shit. Because <laughs> uh, they're not OP anymore. <laughs> Wait, what? What happened to mules? They don't mine triple the amount on gold bases anymore. Ah, uh, how much do they mine? They, they only... Just what they would on regular mineral patches. Ah. Been like that for a long time. Wow. <laughs> Shows how little I pay attention to patch notes. Maybe that's why I'm still in diamond. <laughs> that's why you're just like, oh, I really gotta kill that gold base off. The mules are OP. Yeah, exactly. Well, really, it's not that bad. Robo facility <laughs> finishing off now. 
Actually, I don't know of any ladder maps that have gold bases anymore. Thank Jesus. So, yeah. Uh, so, Rhino's actually going to vote to scout this uh, third and fourth gas, um, which is pretty standard timing for a Century Immortal all in, seeing as he did go one gate for Robo. Mm -hmm. um, we're seeing all these gates being added on now. So, it's looking more and more like it. Plus one. Yeah. And there hasn't been any chronos into the warp gate, so... It's yeah. definitely going to be important for him to continue making Roach Ling here in the near future. He's sitting on 55 harvesters, now grabbing 61. He could roughly make about 75 or so. Is that about yeah. right? Oh, goodness. If you go 75 drones versus a Roach, I mean, a mortal sentry, I'll end your dead. <laughs> you only want 60 to 65. Okay, so he's about where he wants to be, making four more. I mean, with him having the gold base, he really doesn't even need that many. Okay. Like, he could be, he could probably be at 55, <laughs> yeah. But, because, as you see, his income is insane. He's sitting at 2,000 right now. That's like a five baser, so. Oh yeah. I know that makes him feel very special. Well, I guess it'd be... It's kind of like he's a four base there right now, even though he's on empty. So, it's pretty cool. About 34 supply ahead of his opponent as well. So... Um, I'm surprised we don't actually see a macro hatch yet. Just because, I mean, his money's gonna explode here soon. But he's doing quite well. Is that really? He's get, if his money's gonna explode, you can give it to me. I need money. I'll spend it before it explodes. <laughs> The important thing is here, because his gold is obviously right there, he needs to meet these Century Immortals right in the middle to force all these force fields, which is good that he is, but he just got a lot of roaches killed. Unfortunately, uh, for the roaches, but it does look like he's going to manage to expire okay. most of the force field energy, and that's going to force this attack back without a pylon being the warp in. Uh, there's a warp prism going ahead and getting in position. So he's gonna try to warp in, in a little bit of a forward position. But uh Ling upgrades are on the way. Roaches don't have any upgrades, but infestors are also on route. So Once these infestors are here, it's gonna be pretty much game over. I mean these sentries are it takes like you said, it takes three good fungals to kill force fields. I mean sentries, so but these immortals are just doing so much damage. Stalkers do a lot of DPS and tank a lot as well. They kite really well. They're kind of a good all in one unit, but they don't do so well in the screen late game. And they use uh, force fields to pull things there. So that's why it's kind of supports so well. So unfortunately he has to sack this base, but I actually don't understand why he's making more roaches. Hmm. He might want something to be able to tank for those investors. Yeah, but I mean he's getting all those upgrades for Lings. <laughs> and Lings would do pretty well against this enemy composition, but... That is a true story, man. Maybe it's these little tight, narrow corridors. He doesn't feel like the Lings should defend it for a good sort of scenario. I mean, he needs to kill these immortals, and then this army will be pretty easy to clean up. But he's not targeting. Because these zealots are just supposed to be meat shields, that's their whole purpose. Meat shielding for the immortals. Because, I mean, look at these, let's click on each immortal and see how many kills they have. There's like 29, 30, 18, and 23. <laughs> Executor. But, looks like he's finally going to target down these immortals. Ah, the death of the immortal. After having 70 kills. But, uh, as you see, Rhino has 
an overlord at uh, what's this guy's name? Seduces third, so he knows this is an all-in. So all he, he knows all he has to do is hold this, and it's he's still good. But I mean, the supply is heavily favoring Seduce right now. Definitely, this low shield uh, stalker is actually instructor level. That motherfucker teaches other stalkers how to be an awesome killer. Ooh, Sentry Beam. Or, never mind. Not that. 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 Is usually not a good idea. You need other units with the investors to manage the problem. It looks like Seduce might have grabbed himself a pretty easy game here. Yeah. Definitely solid play. And the GG from Rhinomeister. Let's get his input on that last game. Not 